Hey, so we're building a spring for this post here. So it's going to be wrapped around. I'll show you. So that post right there is from a uh, spring latch for a soprano saxophone, a Selmer Super Action 80. It doesn't really matter. It's your pretty standard latch. And the spring part was broken on it, so I'm making a new one out of some spring steel that I got a long time ago, which I intended for my saxophones, but they kind of suck. So I'm finding a use for this, and what I'm doing is coiling it around this. That spring is fine, except along with that foot coming off, it should have one on this side, so that it creates a opening kind of movement. So I'm going to recreate basically this spring exactly by wrapping it around this post mounted in this vise and I'm gonna have the two fingers coming off. Woo. Okay, so this is a bit of a learning process, but as you can see, I've already gotten a few turns on this. What I really wanna do is compress this downwards and tighten it around so we can get a nice tight coil like the original has. So this is probably going to take a few goes. So I think what I'm going to do is use these channel locks to pinch my way around. It's going to be a little slow, which is not fun, but this it's the best way I know how to do it at the moment. So I got some pretty loose looking threads right there. Obviously I'll tighten that up, but I need to figure out how to pull it tighter as I'm going. Okay, so I've been trying to straighten out this spring for a bit. I'm gonna do that later, but I've decided that using these two sets of needle nose is a good method. It just takes a lot of tension just to keep that tight. And it keeps springing back, so. It also means I'm not turning it as much as I'm thinking, but that's good, because these coils seem to be getting tighter. I'm just hoping I'm not going to snap this spring. drill could also potentially be a good way of doing this. Let's see if we've got one. Okay, here is this idea. I'm going to get glasses on because this is going to whip me in the face. That's a good way. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the way of this. Hopefully not have my hands killed. Excellent. Oh shit.
that later half has done really well. So. So, the side closest to my fingers, done a lot more tightly. That's nice. Okay. Okay, so here's the, the thing. I only need a very small foot to be coming through there, which I have. Sorry, I couldn't show you much of that raging battle. <laughs> so. Very nice. So, what I've got to do, I've got to cut off the excess. Basically, just screw it back on. Seems about as well sprung, but we'll see. 